In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our DIY envelope liner template downloads that you can get in our Etsy shop um, to create a beautiful pot for your wedding invitations for only $5. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. This is my Etsy shop. I design wedding invitations and there's so many different options in here. If you're DIYing your invitations, then you'll want to check out our envelope liner templates. Um, when you click on envelope liners, any of them that have this as the cover image are going to be templates and they will also say digital as the first word. So that's how you can tell. Um, I also have most of the designs on here as physical ones if you want to order those with or without envelopes um, pre-printed and die cut from me. So two options that you can use. Uh, but the digital ones are $5.55 and you can use them as many times as you want. And they're really beautiful and you can print them and you can use them um, in tons of different types of envelopes as well. So you're gonna pick out the one that you like. Let's see, which one are we going to use? I'm gonna use this Magnolia one because it's just, it's just a favorite of mine, I'm from the South and I love it. So you're gonna purchase this and your downloads, these are basically exactly what they're going to look like. We have one with guidelines for you and then we have one without guidelines just in case your envelope is shaped a little bit different. You can draw your own guidelines. Um, use your envelope if you, uh, if you have one, you can just kind of cut it up to the right shape you want and use that to create guidelines. Okay, so once you purchase it, this is the exact PDF you're going to get and you can just print it as many times as you want. So now I'm gonna print it a few times on my home printer and then I'm going to meet you over there and show you how you can cut it out and put it together for your invitations. Okay, I've printed this out a couple times. I just use copy paper and I have a pretty good quality printer. So it's pretty nice as is. Um, if I were to go to a professional printer, this is what it would look like. The paper is a little bit brighter white and it's a little bit less see-through. It's a little bit thicker than copy paper. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a huge difference. So this is more what it would look like if you went to an office supply store or FedEx or something and got a little bit nicer paper, but copy paper can provide beautiful results too. Um, it's also going to be against the envelope. So I don't think the see-through aspect is really a big deal. Uh, you will want to go with thinner paper because if you go with something thick, it's going to be hard to fold and it might add weight to your envelope, which could increase postage accidentally. You'll also see on this professionally done one, it's die cut. So all of the edges are rounded, whereas on the guidelines, we made them straight and I'll show you why that is. So that's how you can use um, just one of these little trimmers from a craft supply store. You could use one of those lever paper cutters and do so many at once. And it's so beautiful even if you leave the corners um, square like that. So I'm just gonna chop these a little bit inside the guidelines. You could very easily use chipboard or something over on the left side to create a jig so that they all end up being, you know, cut exactly the same. And you could very easily use one of these on like two or three at a time. I don't think that would be an issue at all. Like this guy. And then the bottom, you don't have to be as clean on because it's in the envelope. But if you get a straight cut, it can help you a little bit. All right, so this is really beautiful even with those squared off edges comparatively to the rounded ones. You can, I'll show you what this looks like inside the envelope. It's still really beautiful even with the squared off edges. You can't even really see the ones on the sides. Yes, you can see the point at the top, but it's actually really easy to round that one. Um, to do the ones on the side, you would wanna take scissors and just manually round those. It's not too hard, but if you don't want to do it, you also can just position it so that they don't really show. Um, and then this is a corner rounder. You can get this at a craft store or on Amazon. Toss it in there and it rounds that corner. I didn't get this one squared up exactly. So I can adjust it, but if you get, you know, if you get better at, <laughs> at it, it'll go really fast. Um, and then that just looks, you know, a little bit more cohesive with the envelope itself and the flap. It just depends on the look that you want and how much time you want to devote to it. So once you get it in there, you're going to line it up. Um, try to get it right to the edge of the adhesive so that you don't have a border kind of showing there, but not too far into the adhesive, adhesive that you can't lick it. Um, get it where you want it, and then you're going to fold this envelope 
and unfold the envelope, but not the liner. Then you'll use whatever adhesive you're using. Um, you can just use a glue stick. I love the Disappearing Purple from Elmer's. It's my favorite glue stick. Um, if you do use this, you're gonna wanna put a piece of paper or a magazine or something under here so that your edges, um, you don't get glue on the envelope. You can use a tape runner, which you can get at any craft store or on Amazon, of course. And then I use kind of a more advanced one. It's called the Advanced Tape Glider, um, a little more heavy duty. And the big thing here is you want to get close to the flap and you only want to glue these two pointed sides. You don't want to glue this bottom of the triangle and I'll show you why. Press it all down and there you go. And the reason you don't want to glue the bottom is that when you open and close the envelope, it moves a little, you can see it moving. And if you glue this part, it doesn't have as much room to move and it can start to get really bunched up or even crease more. So I like to just not glue that part. It makes it easier anyway, because it's one last side that you have to glue. And there you go, there's your envelope liner, which is gonna provide such a great touch to your invitation. Um, if you're worried about them being torn when people open it, you can just seal about halfway up from the V. And what that does is it creates a little space here that encourages people to open from the V as opposed to opening up and breaking that seam and tearing the liner. It's okay if it gets torn too, it's still a beautiful element and your guests are really gonna love it. I hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to use your DIY envelope liner templates from our shop. As a reminder, these are only $5.55 and we're adding new designs all the time. If there's a flower or element that you particularly want that you don't see, feel free to reach out to us. And if you decide this is too much work and you want us to do them for you, they also have corresponding listings where we can print them and or provide the envelopes and attach them for you so you don't have to do any of that. Let me know what questions you have on using your templates in the comments of this video. And while you're here, you can stay and watch some of our other invitation design videos if you're interested. Thanks everybody.